Hey everyone, welcome back to Alps Mustang Garage. Um, today we're just continuing on our transmission conversion from our C4 to our four-speed top loader on this uh, 67 Mustang Coupe. So um, today what we're doing is we're doing pedals. We're inside the car now. Um, we're gonna start adding our pedals here. So what I have and what you're gonna need is obviously we're going to need a clutch pedal you will need a different brake pedal because the automatic brake pedals the pads are way longer unless you want to modify your existing um, but you can still get uh, pedals we have a pedal support now you don't need a new pedal support but we have one just in case the plan is to use our existing um, but just to kind of show you uh, for demonstration purposes um, but you can use you know, your original and just add the, the new pedals. So um, what you're gonna have is you have a return spring bracket that you need to add. You have a return spring. Um, you can get these reproduction parts from Scott Drake. Um, we have some bushings to rebuild our existing. Um, we have a clutch pedal uh, stopping rubber pad that rests right here on the stop um, we have bushings for this return spring so with all this stuff we should be able to have what we need to uh, get our pedals assembled and situated we should be ready to rock and roll so let's go inside the car and get started on this stuff okay we're inside the car um, last look at our single pedal setup here so we can pull our electrical connector off for the brake light switch which is right here Get that out of the way so on the other side here we have our brake master cylinder push rod there's a cotter pin we need to pull that off brake light switch out and so now our brake pedal is free so coming back over here to the other side of the support pull that off then you have a washer and that pin I don't know if you can see that but there's that set pin you're gonna be able to pull that right out and there's that pin and there's your brake pedal out When putting these pedal supports together, um, they're slightly tricky. So we're gonna do this outside of the car just so you can get a really good visual on what's going on here. So first and foremost, you have to add the clutch uh, return spring bracket. You can get the three bolts. Insulator bushing goes here and on the clutch pedal as well. The only the other thing that you're going to add is just a little rubber bump stop right there. That's for your clutch pedal. Now there's two different kinds of brake pedals. You can have your standard non-power assist brake pedal, which would go up in here with your in, it, in the the pin here for the clutch pedal will go through the brake pedal. But if you're in a power brake pedal, it'll actually mount up in this upper hole this upper location here because you have a longer brake pedal for the power brake assist which is what we're going to add on this car so we're going to put our brake pedal up here in this top hole like this in order to get the spring on here which is slightly tricky you have to like hyper extend your your brake pedal which you can't do with it fully installed so you have to kind of 
pull it out a little bit like this and then hyper extend it backwards like that. And the correct orientation of this is going to be like this. So leave this bracket a little loose. That way you can slide your spring in like this and get the spring started like that. You get a good visual of how that's supposed to go. So from here, you can kind of, this is where you want to watch yourself. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten these first. Okay. So with that tightened, if this spring happens to pop out like it's, there's no way it's going to actually come out like that. So, so now we just need to pull our clutch pedal up. It's a little easier than them. Maybe I'll just clamp this here on the vise. Okay, so now this clutch pedal is like in the full up position and we just need to kind of tap your clutch pedal in all the way. Looks like I can just easily push it with my, with my hand there. So now it's in all the way. So that is how that works. So when you apply the clutch, it actually goes down nice and easy and then it's Kind of meant to help bring your pedal back in the up position. So that is how that goes. Um, now obviously we left our brake pedal out which is going to be working to our advantage because getting this up into place is kind of tricky if you have the brake pedal mounted on here as well. So we'll get kind of get this up into place and then we'll mount our, our brake pedal which again we're using the power brake pedal it's going to be mounted up in the upper location up in here. And so about as far as right now goes, this thing is ready to, to go into the car. Okay, so just a brief little recap here. Um, in order to get your support out of the car, um, I, we did take the uh, fresh air vent out. We lowered the uh, park brake lever assembly and um, this just unbolts from the firewall and then we can also the front mount of this these two bolts here in the front are also the uh, column support so those two drop out and then you can remove your pedal support so getting this back up in the car we're going to slide it back in on this side and then work our brake pedal into place get that bolted on because the brake pedal is going to be on the right hand side of the column so we're going to try and navigate this while keeping the column installed and see how we do Brake pedals in, just gotta get my washer and nut on on the other side. And then we'll just need to tighten that, uh, tighten that down. There we go, starting to look like 
A manual transmission car, look at that. Okay, so now that our pedals are mounted up into the support, the support is not mounted to the firewall. So uh, from inside, on the inside part of the firewall, you have two uh, set screws like this that will kind of like align it and get it started. And then from inside the engine compartment, you're gonna have uh, four bolts, two uppers, and then the two lowers actually go through the master cylinder also. So um, we'll put these in for now to kind of keep this in place. And then uh, we're gonna install the bolts on the outside. Okay, so now that we have our pedal support that's uh, up there in place, we're gonna do uh, the rest of the stuff. Um, we got the, the front of the pedal support that we need to mount back up. Um, this just has this little bracket and a couple of, couple of screws that go in there. And then uh, we can get our uh, park brake lever assembly back installed our fresh air vent uh, back installed and then our pedal should be done for the most part on the inside here so so i'm getting pretty excited we're getting pretty close Okay, we're getting really close to kind of getting this uh, conversion uh, finished up. So as we're finishing up these pedals, we just gotta connect our upper clutch rod. And uh, we have a little bushing right here. So that bushing goes in, your clutch rod goes in. It's also a little cotter pin. It goes in like that. Okay, and there's our pedal assembly. So we need to, you know, still make some adjustments here because well, obviously that pedal just kind of goes down to the floor. Okay, so once you actually connect your uh, lower clutch rod to your clutch fork, that's when you get your pedal to kind of pop back up on its own. So now it actually has uh, some pretty good, pretty good tension behind it, just like how these things uh, should be. Okay, if you can see how that operates, you know, this is just all direct link, mechanical linkage. So as she's stepping on the clutch pedal, this is your upper clutch rod connected directly to the pedal. You have a little assist spring here, the equalizer bar, which is connected to the frame and the inch block. Then you have your lower rod with another assist spring. I know that's hard to see down there, but that's pushing on the clutch fork and working the clutch. The lower clutch rod is adjustable. So we'll just kind of like, uh, you know, adjust that and get the, any kind of play out of the pedal and get the right amount of preload on the uh, clutch fork. And it should, uh, should be great.